But if I had to choose between the DJI Mic 2 and the Rode Wireless Pro, I would hands down pick. The All right, clap to sync, clap to sync, clap to sync. Wow, nobody is out here. <laughs> Good for me. So I got a chance to test out the DJI Mic 2, but I've yet to try out the Rode Wireless Pro. And so today I wanna test and compare both of those mic systems. So yeah, let's figure out which one is better. Oh, is it starting to rain? Oh, I just started filming. Now all the rage, of course, is uh, is the ability to record 32-bit float audio. Ooh, wow. And if you don't know what 32-bit float recording is, it's essentially kind of like taking a raw photo where you have so much flexibility to adjust the audio in post. And that way you don't have to worry about your audio clipping. So pretty cool that both the DJI Mic 2 and the Rode Wireless Pro have that. All right, hold on, I'm gonna do this. All right, check this out. Watch me mob on this slide. Did you see that? My, my butt's wet. But I'm going back and forth between each transmitter just so you can hear the audio quality. This is the audio coming directly from the transmitter themselves. There will be no post-processing at all, except maybe to like raise the levels of it so it sounds about the same. But yeah, this is what the audio sounds like on the Rode Wireless Pro transmitter. Test, test, one, two, three. And now this is the audio coming from the DJI Mic 2 transmitter. Test, test, one, two, three. All right, what next? Still got a wet butt. Ugh. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing in this video. Now, another thing both the DJI Mic 2 and the Rode Wireless Pro is that they both come with lavaliers. And so I have attached them to each of their corresponding transmitters, and we're gonna do a quick audio test as I'm sitting on top of this playground. Why? Well, why not? All right, so this is the audio coming from the DJI Lav Mic and the Mic 2. Check, check, check one, two, three. Uh, there's uh, someone looking at me just wondering why a grown adult is sitting on top of a playground by himself. Yeah, keep walking. And now this is the audio coming from the Rode Lavalier 2 attached to the Rode Wireless Pro Transmitter. Test, test, one, two, three. What, stop looking at me. Just keep walking. Just, oh my gosh. Don't walk towards me. Oh, okay. Can a YouTuber just film by themselves in peace? Come on. All right, well, quick before this person like walks to me real close and asks what I'm doing. This is the audio coming from the DJI Lav Mic. Test, test, one, two, three. And now this is the audio coming from the Rode Lavalier 2 and the Wireless Pro. Test, test, one, two, three. Okay, okay I'm going. Oh my gosh. And I still have a wet butt. That's great. Okay, we're good. They've, they've gone away. Now here are the Lavaliers. This is the DJI Lav. This is the Rode Lavalier 2. Uh, what's cool about the DJI DJI Love is that it's a there's a swivel clip, uh, which means you can adjust the microphone as you see fit. Uh, with the Rode, it does not. It's a little bit of, of a different design. But they're both omnidirectional microphones, meaning that it will capture audio omnidirectionally. Honestly, I think I'd rather wear one of these lavaliers right now because like the weight of these transmitters are just pulling my shirt down. All right, I, I forgot I had a haircut appointment, and so uh, this is actually going to be a good wireless range test because uh, my salon is right over there. And these are historic buildings, so proper brick and stone. And so, yeah, I'm gonna record with both the microphones. I'm gonna set the camera in my car and just record. And hopefully this will be a somewhat decent wireless range test. Here we go. Oh gosh, I don't want my camera to get stolen. Okay, I'll just do this. We're recording, right? We're both recording. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Also, I'm gonna change up my hair. Uh, I've had it slicked back for almost a decade and so, Figured, have some fun. Change it up. Also, I'm gonna change up my hair. Uh, I've had it slicked back for like almost a decade, and so figured, have some fun. And, like, change it up a bit. So as my buddy Austin is cutting my hair, you can hear the clippers, right? Uh, well, thanks to the intelligent noise canceling on the DJI Mic 2, you should not hear that background noise and hear my voice fairly clearly where the Rode Wireless Pro does not have that feature. So you'll definitely hear the clippers as well as the other background noise in the salon. But yeah, pretty cool feature of the DJI Mic 2, especially if you don't want to like try to remove that background noise in post. Like, like come on. Who has, who has time for that? Right, Austin? Yeah, nobody has time for that. And we're back, fresh cut, ready to go. Uh, all right, so we're gonna do a proper wireless range test. Uh, I'm gonna connect the Rode Wireless Pro with my iPhone because you can connect it by using the USB-C cable. I'm recording right now, there we go. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna just walk over there. And uh, with the DJI Mic 2, the range is 820 feet, and with the Rode Wireless Pro, it's 853 feet. 
realistically, I don't think anybody films that far anyway. Otherwise, you just can't really see the person. And so uh, I'm just going to simulate what it's like filming a wedding wirelessly. So say that this is a big reception hall over here. I'm the videographer and say that the bride and groom or whoever I'm putting the, the mics on or over there yonder. Uh, I'm just going to go as far as I can and uh, we're going to test out the wireless range. Okay. All right, man. Uh, it is really cloudy today. It doesn't feel right because it's Texas. You know what I mean? You, you'd expect this kind of weather like in PNW or up in the UK where it's just always gloomy and cloudy and very moody. Texas is, it's kind of weird, kind of drawing in a way. But uh, anyway, yeah, clear line of sight, just walking backwards. There are a couple of trees, some metal poles, so I don't know if that's gonna add to any interference. Test, test, one, two, three. Uh, now I'm underneath the covering. Lots of metal all around. Test, test, one, two, three. Uh, now I'm gonna turn my back against the receivers. Now I'm gonna talk, test, test, one, two, three. Man, the grass is brown. Uh, now I'm gonna turn my back against the receiver. Now I'm gonna talk, one, two, three. Man, the grass is brown. All right, so now I'm facing towards the receiver again. Uh, I'm just gonna walk over here behind this uh, metal pole. I'm gonna face the receiver, but the metal pole is gonna be right in front of me, so there is an obstruction. Test, test, one, two, three. All right, facing towards the receiver again. Uh, I'm just gonna walk over here behind this uh, metal. I'm gonna face the receiver, but the metal pole is gonna be right in front of me, so there is an obstruction. Test, test, one, two, three. Now I'm gonna turn my back against the receivers. I'm gonna keep on talking. Test, test, one, two, three. So now my back is turned and there is an obstruction between myself and the receivers. Now I'm gonna turn my back again. I'm gonna keep on talking. Test, test, one, two, three. So now my back is turned and there is an obstruction between myself and the receivers. All right, now I'm facing towards uh, the receivers again. And I feel like this test is more realistic because if you are filming something like a wedding and you're at a reception hall, you're kind of about this distance away from the bride and groom. You're definitely not gonna be 820 feet away from the bride or groom unless you have like a super long lens for whatever reason. If you're just using a standard 24 to 70 lens and you are filming the bridal party, then I feel like this seems more realistic. But yeah, I just wanted to do a very simple realistic wireless range test uh, but yeah let me know what you guys think all right let's get back to the camera there's more people I feel like whenever I film more people kind of congregate the area do you find that it's kind of weird but anyway that is the wireless range test now on to the nitty-gritty let's talk about the differences between the DJI mic 2 and the Rode wireless pro and we'll talk about the pros and cons for each starting with the packaging now with the DJI mic 2 everything comes in this carrying case and I really really love it let's open it up here it is over here you have the charging case you have the lav mic you got the wind screens you have audio cables and other things you want to include here like I don't know snacks everything can be included in this case which makes everything really organized if you want to pack one wireless system in your camera bag. And with the Rode Wireless Pro, it's not just one carrying case, but two. One is to house the transmitters and the receiver. Here it is right over here. This is actually the charging case for the, the Rode Wireless Pro. And this case is actually really cool because if you plug it in to your computer, you can actually pull the, the audio files from both the transmitters to your computer by just plugging a USB-C cable to the charging case. So very cool. Now this second case houses all the accessories of the Rode Wireless Pro. Here I have my adapters, the audio cable, some other accessories. I've got two other lav mics here, as well as windscreens and some magnets. So so all the accessories for the Rode Wireless Pro can be found in this case and then the other one houses the transmitters and receiver. Also with these cases, specifically the charging case, it's a semi-hard case with a zip around it but I actually prefer it over the DJI uh, charging case because if I drop the DJI charging case, I know it'll make scratches, it might dent it, might even damage the charging case because it's a hard metallic design where with the Rode Wireless Pro because it's a semi-hard, if I drop it, I know that this case is hard enough and soft enough that it won't damage the case at all. So even though I prefer the look of the DJI charging case, it's way more practical to have a case like the Rode Wireless Pro, especially if you're accident prone. Now with these cases, I guess it all comes down to preference. I much prefer the all-in-one carrying case of the DJI because you can just pack into your bag. But sometimes it is nice if you just want to carry the transmitters and the receiver. Like this is way smaller to pack into your camera bag. But if you also want to bring the accessories, you kind of have to bring both. All right, so here's what I mean. So this is the carrying case for the DJI Mic 2 and here are the two 
carrying cases for the Rode Wireless Pro. It's so inconvenient to have to carry two of these cases in your bag. I mean, unless you're just carrying the transmitters by themselves. I mean, that's that's pretty compact to carry. Where the DJI mic too, like everything comes in this one single case that I can just place here in my camera bag, which makes it very nice and organized. And for me, I do prefer that everything is included with uh, with the DJI mic too. Like, honestly, can we just appreciate how well organized this is? Like, look at that. Drone, lens, mic, cleaning stuff filter, batteries, other accessories. So good, so good. So one of the more obvious differences between the DJI Mic 2 and the Rode Wireless Pro is the price. The DJI Mic 2 is gonna be cheaper at $349, where the Rode Wireless Pro is gonna run you $400. Honestly, the pricing isn't that much of a difference, but if you wanna get a lav mic with the DJI Mic 2, you just gotta pay an extra $30, which makes it pretty close in pricing to the Rode Wireless Pro. And with the Rode Wireless Pro, it comes with two lavaliers, which you normally would have to pay $100 each. Like I said before, both of these mics can record 32-bit float audio on the transmitters, but the Rode Wireless Pro transmitters have a 32 gigabyte capacity, meaning that you can record up to 40 hours of audio versus the 8 gigabyte capacity of the DJI Mic 2, which you can record about 11 hours of 32-bit audio. And so if you're looking for a wireless audio system that has the capacity to film for long periods of times, like a, an interview for a documentary, or even just filming a wedding all day, the Rode Wireless Pro is definitely going to be much better. The layout of the charging case it's of course different. The DJI Mic 2 is a bit cleaner. It even includes two adapters over here for your smartphone. Here you have a USB-C adapter and here you have a lightning adapter rip. But pretty cool that these adapters are included in the case. The Rode Wireless Pro has adapter cables instead. You can find that in the accessories case and they're just cables as you see here, so not as convenient or compact as a DJI Mic 2, but you got adapters nonetheless. Another big difference between these two is that pulling out the receiver and the transmitters on the DJI Mic 2 is way easier than the, the Rode Wireless Pro. Like, for some reason, it's like stuck. Ugh, there we go. And that's because you have the USB-C connector over there. It's kind of just plugged in. And so it's kind of hard to, to take it out. And sometimes when I take it out, I push a button or two, which accidentally triggers the recording. And so yeah, not a big fan of the mounting system of the Rode Wireless Pro, but probably a little detail worth mentioning. Now let's talk about the transmitters. The DJI Mic 2 transmitter is really small. Hold on. Oh gosh, see that? See what I mean? And the Rode Wireless Pro transmitter is definitely larger. Now, even though I prefer the size of the DJI Mic 2 transmitter. I just don't think it blends as well as the Rode Wireless Pro. Like it's, it may be bigger than the DJI Mic 2, but it's black. The, the windscreen is black, so it kind of blends in with my black shirt. Where the, the windscreen on the DJI Mic 2, like why is it gray? Why, why did you do that? It doesn't make any sense. And look, I can even see the logo. Like why, it's so distracting. It would have been cool if like both mics were like matte black, but then again, all I have are black shirts. But you can do a lot more with the DJI Mic 2 transmitter. Like you can activate the intelligent noise canceling feature of the Mic 2. You can also pair it to other devices like the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 or the Action 4 or even your smartphone. Where with the Rode Wireless Pro, you just have this little button over here, which you can program to be whatever you want. I've programmed it so that I can record on the transmitter itself. So in terms of just overall functionality, I feel like the DJI Mic 2 is better. Also, the magnets on the DJI transmitters are really strong, like definitely stronger than the original. Uh, the strength of the magnets on the roads uh, are not as strong. Also, they give you this magnetic clip that you attach on to the actual clip itself. Hold on, let me try to get it out. Oh, there we go. So it's this magnetic clip that you attach over the actual clip, which I guess is for people who don't really want to use that magnetic system. But if you do want to attach the transmitter to yourself, you got to just slip this plate over. It's not, there we go. It's not the easiest to attach, but there it is. Now, even though the DJI Mic 2 transmitter is a little more versatile, uh, I feel like the audio quality captured on the Rode Wireless Pro is definitely better than the DJI Mic 2. But I feel like it's so small differences that kind of help anyone decide which mic system is better for them. But I feel like it's so small differences that kind of help anyone decide which mic system is better for them. And the last thing about these transmitters is that the windscreen is actually easier to attach onto the DJI Mic 2. You just simply just attach it to where the, uh, the audio jack goes just like that versus the Rode Wireless Pro. You got to align the two dots uh, over here, it's kind of hard to see, but you just align it and twist it so that it's secure in place. And so yeah, definitely a lot easier on the DJI Mic 2.
Now, moving on to the receivers, the DJI Mic 2 receiver is definitely smaller than the Rode Wireless Pro, uh, and you can actually change the settings on the receiver and transmitters with the OLED touchscreen. So here you just swipe down, you can change the receiver settings, the transmitter settings, the settings settings, and you also have this thumb wheel so that you can go through the different options of the menu or other parameters of the receiver. So in terms of functionality, the DJI Mic 2 receiver is way better. Also, I much prefer the placement of the display of the DJI Mic to versus the road because uh, if you're looking at the audio and you're vlogging uh, you can't really see the audio levels with the Rode Wireless Pro here let me let me show you so here I've got my camera and if I attach the Rode Wireless Pro on top of the hot shoe, like I can see the audio levels quite fine, that's great, but that's only if I'm holding the camera down below. I definitely can't see it if I'm vlogging or if I'm seeing it from behind. The only way for me to see the audio levels is if I'm holding the camera like this. But with the DJI Mic 2, I can definitely see the audio levels if I'm vlogging, and even if I'm holding it below, I can definitely still see it, and so definitely much prefer the display on the DJI Mic 2. I will say, however, with the Rode Wireless Pro, the, there's a lav locking system, which I find so handy. And I feel it's very important for like filming weddings or documentaries because having a lav locking system prevents the talent or the subject from accidentally pulling the cable out. So I feel like that's very important when it comes to filming those kind of things. Where with the uh, the DJI Mic 2, there is no locking system. They did include this uh, little uh, loop lock over here. Here, let me show you. So I'm gonna attach the, the lav mic right there. And if you open up the clip from behind, there's a little place where you can put the cable in right there and it kind of locks it in place. And so yeah, I mean, it's not the most secure, but it's, you know, fairly secure. I much prefer the locking system of the Rode Wireless Pro though. And even though the Rode has that lav locking system, the DJI Mic 2 has a record stop lock feature that prevents the talent from accidentally pressing the record button during filming. I do love the intelligent noise canceling feature on the DJI Mic 2, it is so handy. And even though the Rode Wireless Pro does not have that feature, it does have intelligent gain assist, meaning that you don't have to worry about your audio levels being correct when connected to your camera. Like the Rode will figure all that out for you, which is great, especially if you film more run and gun kind of stuff. Like I mentioned before, the DJI Mic 2 is compatible with the Osmo Pocket 3, the Action 4, and even your smartphone. But the Rode Wireless Pro is compatible with the Wireless Go 2, the Wireless Me, the Rodecaster Duo, the Rodecaster Pro 2, and even the Streamer X. So pretty cool that both these mics can be used with other devices. In terms of battery life during operation use, the, the Rode Wireless Pro can last up to seven hours for each individual transmitter and receiver versus six hours on the DJI Mic 2 transmitters and receiver. So not that much of a difference, but definitely worth noting. And also when used with the charging case, you can have up to 18 hours of battery life for the DJI Mic 2. But I think what's more useful is the actual battery life during operation. And so yeah, the Rode Wireless Pro lasts a little bit longer than the DJI Mic 2. All right, let's wrap this up. It's getting kind of dark. But if I had to choose between the DJI Mic 2 and the Rode Wireless Pro, I would hands down pick the DJI Mic 2 simply because it's way easier to use. I feel like the Rode Wireless Pro is the better wireless system. The transmitters sound better. The lavaliers sound better. It's got that lavalier locking system. It supports time code. And so I feel like the Rode Wireless Pro is more for like professional use, people that shoot documentaries or short films, where the DJI Mic 2 is better suited for solo content creators like myself. But those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you in the next one. Oh gosh, what a day. Thank you.